think I'm a chump. Yeah. Ha! They think I'm a chump. They call me chump. Yeah. They think I'm a chump. Oh! Hey, chump! Who said that? Why don't you try to cause a storm? I say, well, come on over here, buddy. Let's compare tax forms. Beats the hex count and dig in a ditch. Sometimes it's a bitch. Ah, Cause it's making me rich. Go ahead, call me a jump. jump. They think I'm a jump. They call me jump, jump. But I'm a rich jump. <laughs> do it, Jimmy, do it. One of our singles, Chump from 99 WNOR, Rigger and the Bull coming up commercial free rock and Mike Arlo. Friday, April 20th, The Pretenders at William and Mary Hall. Whisper Concerts and MTV welcome the hottest package on tour. The hottest concert of the year. The Pretenders. To Ohio. With special guests T.B. Ray Vaughn and Double Trouble plus The Alarm. Tickets are available now at all regular Whisper outlets. I'm special. The Pretenders. The Children's Hospital of the King's Daughter and Whisper Concerts in support of the third annual Run for the Children present a special benefit concert starring Thomas Dolby. With special guest, Channel One. Thomas Dolby, Saturday, April 21st at Chrysler Hall. Tickets are $7.50 for registered runners, all others $9.50, and available at all regular Whisper outlets. Thomas Dolby. Proceeds donated to the Children's Hall. Stage, Rieger and the Bull, FM 99. Go ahead, boys. I'm Hank. And I'm Dick. And, and we're, we're the, the Lounge Brothers. brothers. And uh, we'd like to invite you to come on out and dance if you'd like. Hey, hey. Yeah? Listen, can we do that new song that, where I use my whammy bar on my guitar? Certainly. Okay, go ahead and count it off. Ooten, bleeding, lightning, blues. I've got something to say. It's better to burn out than fade away. Isn't that right, Hank? Where's the lucky charm? I'll put my money on it. Rise up, gather round, rock this place to the ground. Burn it up, let's go broke. Rots and I go up in smoke. Rock on, rock on. Pyromaniac, no serenade, no fire brigade, just a pyromaniac. What do you want? What do you want? I want rock and roll. Yes, we do. Long live rock and roll. Rock of ages, rock of ages. Still rolling, keep rolling. Rock of ages, rock of ages. Still rolling, rock and roll and ring on the power. Ring on the And I'm Dick. We're the Lounge Brothers. Take it away, Dick. We're going to take a brief break. 
You know, I can't get over it. Why do those people keep laughing after we say Lounge Brothers? Do you know them? Oh, the heck with it. We'll be back in a minute. Cut off the drum machine, Hank. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm standing outside the bus station and talking to Arnold Palmer. Arnold, what do you do in your spare time? I've been building golf clubs for a long time. Speaking of golf, the Culture Club, led by singer Boy George, used to golf wearing standard golf attire. Now, when they attempt to play 18 holes, they wear makeup and women's clothing. What are your feelings about this? Amazing how they've changed. Now, Arnie, you have been known to wear women's stockings and gobs of makeup. How can I justify the fact that you are a closet transvestite? Somewhere out there in that golf course, I've got an old tractor to prove it. Arnold Palmer, let me ask you this. Now, what do your old high school friends say when they see you out in public wearing women's clothing? I mean, what are your reactions to this? Recently, someone I hadn't seen in years said, Arnie, you haven't changed a bit. Arnie, what did you say when this person laughed at your strapless dinner gown and blue eyeshadow? Well, I took that with a grain of salt. Arnie, some men wear three-piece suits and work hard all their lives. Some become transvestites and completely change their lives. How do you feel about this? We all change. Ani, say your face breaks out with a million zits from the overuse of facial oils used to tenderize your skin. Now, do you change brands of facial oils, or do you stay with the one you're already with and hope for the best? Now, there's one thing about me that doesn't change. I'm loyal to my oil. Ani, your old friends Sam Snead, Jack Nicholas, and Lee Trevino all question your masculinity. Now, how do you when you are, in fact, a closet transvestite, admit and prove to them that you are a man. Out there in that golf course, I've got an old tractor to prove it. Reporting live for Rika and the Bull, I'm Lisa Robinson, live from the bus station. 719 and Big Red and Thor Heine, the Heine Winery's sole owners, who've been selling their Heinies to the general public now for over 17 years, are often stopped in the street and asked all kinds of questions concerning Heine wine. Questions like, is there anything special you guys put in your Heinies to make them fizz like they do when you pour them from the can? Or is there anything you can do to put the life back in a flat Heine? But the most often asked question is, what can I do to convince my boss that taking a Heine break from time to time is perfectly normal? If your boss is a stuffy individual who believes Heine should be enjoyed at home and not on the job, then Big Red and Thor suggest you try this. Organize a Heine protest demonstration. Here's how it works. Pick one day and tell all the Heine lovers in your office to bring a can of Heine wine, sneak your Heine in under your coat, and put your Heine in your desk drawer. At a given time, preferably as the boss is walking down the hall, everyone gets their Heines out of their drawers at the same time. The big Red and Thor feel that with an entire office holding their Heines in their hands at one time, the boss will have no choice but to institute Heine breaks. In most cases, at first, your boss may be reluctant, but it won't be long before he'll break down and you'll find him in the lunchroom enjoying a little Heine along with everybody else. It's a great way to start an employer-employee relationship in your office. And once you get started on that, why not buy your boss a Heine Wine gift souvenir? You'll find him on sale now at the Heine Wine Gift Shop Annex in the upper level of Greenbrier Mall and the record bar in Chesapeake. Stop in. It's easier to find than the Heine entrance on Butt Station Road. You'll find Heine shirts, Heine sweatbands, Heine huggers, Heine glasses, Heine swatters, and a lot more. What's that sound? There's somebody else down the corner. Is this 244-3699? Yes, ma'am. Wait, that has an urgent call. I would like for you to hang up. Would you do that, please? No way, operator. I mean, this is a, st you know, it's some stupid listener. Who is it? Hello? Hello, operator? Yes. No, operator, I'm, we're on the, you know, we're on the air right now on a radio station. I can't hear you. you. No, I'm not letting anybody cut in on my phone call. Okay, ma'am. Wait a minute. Let me come in again. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> hey, hold on, man. Okay? Okay. Operator's going to cut through because some, somebody is calling saying this is an emergency call. Can you believe it? Hello? Hello? There's an operator. Now, can you hear me okay now? Mike, it's God! Hello? God has cut through the phone lines to talk to us. Operator, um, we're on the air at a radio station right now. 
air on the radio. Yes, ma'am. This is a contest line. Well, I, well, I'm sorry. I didn't know what the line was. Oh, no, that's okay. It's not your fault. And I just want, I'd like to say thank you for doing a great job, okay? Operator, thank you. Hey, hold on, man, okay? That's pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah, it's real wild. Hold on. Hello, do you know what it was? Yeah, I witnessed. No. Yeah, you know what it was? Yeah. What? Sea hunt. Ah, uh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, what's your name? Paul Rockwood. Paul Rockwood. Yeah, R-O-C-K-W-O-O-D, yeah. man. Oh, Paul Rockwood. Yes, that's the boy. Paul Rockwood. I think that clock is slow. Yeah, I think the clock is slow. Hold on, man. Where are you calling from? Uh, ODU. Super. He's a Grammy Award winner and entertainer of the year. No respect. No respect. He's the star of Caddyshack. And now, easy money. No respect. No respect. He's Rodney Dangerfield. And he's coming to Chrysler Hall. I played hide and seek when I was three. No respect. No respect. Why they wouldn't even look for me. No respect. No respect. I was an ugly kid. I never had fun. No respect. No respect. They took me to a dog show and I won. No respect. No respect. Whisper Concerts present Rodney Dangerfield Friday, April 13th at 8 p.m. at Chrysler Hall. That's Friday the 13th of April. Don't miss Rodney in concert. Steak and sex, my favorite pair. No respect. No respect. I have them both the same way. Very rare. No respect. No respect. Get your tickets now for an evening with Rodney Dangerfield. They're available at Tracks, Mother. Birdland, Record Bar Tower Mall, and the Chrysler Hall box office. What's the matter, Rodney? Oh, it ain't easy being me. With Rieger and the Bull, I have a message here. A message from the SPCA. Objecting to the song Puppy Livers. The Norfolk SPCA objecting to my hit single Puppy Livers. Can you believe that? Objecting to my song. Ha! Huh. I just can't get over this. I mean, there, people have really got nerve around here. I mean, I spend all my time working on these songs for listeners, just, you know, because I want everything to be right for you guys, because you guys are important to me. And there's some organization calling up the station. They're trying to get it taken off the air. They're trying to get puppy livers taken off the air. Can you believe that? Well, I'll be damned if I'm not going to play it, because I'm going to play it in just a couple of moments. <laughs> Dead puppy. <laughs> Dead puppy. Dead, Dead puppies aren't much fun. They don't come when you call. They don't chase little balls at all. Dead puppies aren't much fun. Sure, are. you can't have many fun with a dead puppy, especially if you remove his liver with your bare hands. <gasps> oh, they say I can't play the song today, but I've got the fire hydrant in front of the studio door, and I'm gonna play it anyway. The heck with everybody when they think. You know why? <laughs> I don't know why. I'm gonna play it anyway. Rieger and the Bull, it has FM a song on it. You might think I'm crazy. <laughs> But all I want is you. Sorry. What's that center part? What center part? Oh, I, I, how about if I do it during the call? Okay. Go ahead. You, we have something planned. Go ahead. Let's do it. Okay, you mean the menu? Here, yeah, let's do that. Okay, boys and girls. Hold on. Let me get some sound effects. Let me all get right. Some record. Let listen me get up. Something to listen to here. Hold on, man. I, I, you know, somebody's been putzing around with my sound effects record. All you people in Let's first period this. study hall. Put that stuff away and listen. All right? All right. Here's the menu for tomorrow down in the nation's room of the Harley and Waterside area with Rieger and the Bull of the breakfast party. Go ahead, Ron. The breakfast menu includes the following items tomorrow morning. Remember, it's all you can eat for four ninety nine. Say I just don't want to eat uh, um, one plate. How much will it cost me? I just want one plate. How much will it cost me? Four ninety nine. Oh, so if I want to have four plates, how much will it cost? Four ninety nine. Okay. What if my old lady wants to come and make a total pig of herself? She'd be four ninety nine also. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Well, we have your choice and uh, as much as you'd like of the following items. Okay. Go ahead. Assorted chilled juices. Mm. Fluffy, like the... fluffy scrambled eggs. Fluffy. Fluffy scrambled eggs. Crisp, delicious bacon. Was the grease be dried off? Grilled sausages. You can have that as a side order. Link or patty? 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> Either Link or Patty. <laughs> Go ahead. Norfolk style hash brown potatoes. Mmm, yummy. Assorted pastries and breads, Rieger style. Okay. That's my favorite part of it's breakfast. The, the assorted right? pasties Twinkies. and breads. Pasties? <laughs> assorted butter. Little... What? Butter. Okay. <laughs> Preserves to uh, go with your assorted pastries and breads. Okay. And of course, your selection of coffee or tea. That's the breakfast menu for tomorrow morning. Rieger and the Bulls breakfast party. In the nation's room of the Holiday and Waterside area, right across the street from Scope in downtown Norfolk. People are really getting excited about this. They're going to come. Six until ten we tomorrow have a, morning. And we have a whole list of talent. I mean, and if you have talent, if you still want to come, if you didn't win on Talent Day, go ahead and bring your talent, and I'll audition you while you're there, and we'll see what we can do. We're going to do this uh, call here. It's not really a wake-up okay. call. Okay. Well, how could it be a wake-up call? I mean, it's twenty after nine. Well, some people are sleeping right now. That's Le- true. Les Wooten. Mm-hmm. We could call him, but that'd be boring. Dear Henry, my name is Linda, and I work for the Hurlers Insurance Company. Yeah. And I work in an office with a lot of women, and a few of us younger girls listen to you and <clears throat> listen to you and Ron in the morning. <laughs> and then we have something to laugh about all through the day. One girl in particular listens, and every day she comes up to me and says, "Let's go see Henry today." And I proceed to tell her that I don't know where the studio is, and we probably wouldn't be able to get in and see you anyway. I finally got a copy of music and showed her the story. She's made a music magazine. And showed her the story about you, and she was... About you. You singular. Henry. Yeah. And she was v- ever impressed. Maybe I was supposed to be very... She was impressed. She especially liked your mustache. Well, let me get to the point. I'm sure she would love it if you said hello to her on the air and called her at work to say hello. Her name is Teresa, but we all know her as... Candy. The work number is this, and we work from 8 on, so she's usually riding down the interstate between 7 and 8. Thanks for the time. Linda David Hudgens. Enclosed is a picture of Candy. And by the way, Candy and myself are coming to eat breakfast with you Friday at the Nation's Room in the Holiday Inn Waterside area, right across the street from Scope. Yes, may I speak to Candy, please? Yeah, just a second. Thank you. She does insurance or something. Hello? Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I got an insurance policy there. Pardon me? I got an insurance policy, and I was told to talk to you. Now, now I got the, the total coverage. I got half coverage. Just like, like half coverage. So, like, if I lost on my finger, one finger... Yeah. Hello? This, this is Candy, Teresa, right? Teresa. Right. Uh, so if I lose one finger, if, huh? I lose, if I lose one finger, I only get, like, half pay for that finger, right? Who is this? But I think <laughs> that you're wild. Are you serious? <laughs> you might think I'm crazy. <laughs> You might think I'm dumb. Is it really? Oh! <laughs> guess who it is. Who? One guess. No. I got a picture of you here. How do you have a picture of me? Oh, so you didn't know that, huh? No. I see you wearing this blue thing. Let me look at, okay, we're going to look at the wall. There's sailboats, a little picture with sailboats, a diploma in the back. You have blonde hair, red lips. Come on, get out of here. A blue shirt. Have a picture. <laughs> I've got a picture of you. Linda David Hudgens sent it. With David Hudgens? And who's it? Linda Hudgens. Well, Linda's right here. But tell her to pick up the phone. We can't. We only have one phone here in the office. We're going to be at the breakfast in the morning. Oh, God. Well, I thought I'd call and yeah, harass you. come up and talk to you? And harass you work. Yeah, sure. You have any talent? No, we don't have any talent. Come on, I mean, it's not going to be, you know, it, it's going to be a pretty good time. What am I saying? It's not going to be a good time. It's going to be a great time. How will you know us if we come up and talk to you? I've got your picture right here, I'm telling you. You do not. You're blonde. Who gave you a picture, Linda? You said it to me. <laughs> You've got a purple top on, tan pants. Hold on a second, okay, hon? Three eyes. I'm sorry. 
Are we on the air? <laughs> All I want is you. <laughs> and you might. Cause you. Hold on, hold on, let's get the echo. Cause you, Cause you kept, kept, it kept it going. going. It till the sun went down. down, 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 down. <laughs> Okay. Are you having a good time? No, look what you made me do. <laughs> yeah, you're you're live on the air. Hold on, hold on a second, hon. Okay, I want to talk to you off the air. Okay. All right. Hey, got a pick. Seventy percent chance of showers. A high of fifty-five. Windy with a forty percent chance of flurries tonight. <laughs> That's funny. A low of thirty-two. Because you people don't know how to drive, and when it snows around here, people freak out. People freak out on my highways, you know? <laughs> From Abbey Road, the Beatles, FM 99. I'm up the creek. That's a good song. I'm up the creek. That's a real good song. I'm up the creek. 9.56. Okay, this is 99 WNOR, FM in Norfolk, the home of rock and roll. We're going to cut out of here. Mike Arler is up next with the commercial free rock and roll. Regan and the Bull, Jimmy Dunn, Lane Callahan. <clears throat> Hoping you have a great... Oh, yeah, we, we may have some big news for you later on in the week. Yeah. Big news. Big news. Call the guy today, okay? Yeah, I'll check him out. Big news on, on Jimmy and the Bull. Our fir- maybe our first big gig. That's right. Our first gig, man. We got to get together. We got to rehearse. We got to practice. And we'll have, uh, for those of you who went and saw us at our first little gig yeah. uh, that we did for the SPCA, that was just just a teaser. Just yeah, I, I, I've kind of, I was pretty bad, but it, but it, but still, man, we're gonna tighten up. We're gonna tighten up the act, okay? okay. Tighten it up. I'm gonna wear clothes this time. Yeah. I'll see some fat guy dancing it's on stage be, in the nude. It's gonna be decked out. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Mr. Yes, it is. Uh, can I ask you a couple questions? Sure, man. That's what I'm here for. Okay. First question: Why do you like insulting people? Why? Yeah. I don't insult everybody. Just morons who call. You know, like 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 you. I ain't no more. Come on, man. Don't, I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of, to be stupid and be moronic. Hey. Come on. Hey, Bull. Oh, uh, what, yeah. man? You want to see some morons? Yeah. Come to Oscar Smith High School, room 110. Is that where you work, go to school? Yeah. Figures. Hello? Yeah, Bull, you're still looking for a uh, phone personality. <laughs> Is this a woman? Yo, you betcha. You sound really sexy, girl. No, hi, it's my wife. You ought to call her and ask her about the pussy willows growing out behind the barn out on Pleasant Grove Road. She'll knock you dead. What's the number? All right, four... What's her name? Her name is Debbie Case Beer. Oh, hey, what's your name? On. Dale, her husband. Dale, her husband. I this, can't hear you. I'm at a pay phone. This Call is, her. She'll knock you dead. This is Dale, her husband? You betcha. You betcha, boy. Yeah, man. Now, She'll I tell you. Dead. I tell you, Dale, I'm going to give a call right now, boy. All right, babe. I'm going to get back on the phone. All right, baby. on the radio. Take care, sweetheart. You bet. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is Dale. I'm a woman. Case beer. Jim Danny to the rescue. Ow! Jim Danny to the rescue. Jim Danny to the rescue. She's not home. Hello? Um, yes, ma'am. I'm inquiring lots about the pussy willows growing in back of your house. I don't have any. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm with the city of Chesapeake. And uh, what we're trying to do is transplant some pussy willows from the city of Virginia Beach into the city of Chesapeake to crossbreed them with the pussy willows over here. <laughs> well, it sounds like a good idea. You think this is funny? Yeah. I'm serious. I am a, I am a dedicated botanist. <laughs> I am, and you want to come over here and get some pussy willows? I'd like to come over there and, uh, if you don't mind, like maybe come into your house and, and uh, go through the back door and get some pussy willows. <laughs> come on down, bull. Oh, you know who this is? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're calling. Yeah, I, your husband Dale called me to, to call you up and to ask for some pussy willows. 
What's up, baby? You gonna give me some pussy willows from the back of your house? Oh, yeah. If my husband said it's okay, it's fine. So your husband said it's okay to come over and get some pussy willows? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, oh, don't make dear. me laugh. My throat hurts. <laughs> well, we got some beer, too. Some beer? Yeah. What does that have to do with pussy willows? Oh, well, no, that'll help your throat. Do you have a lot back there? <laughs> we got a lot. Are they kind of furry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did, were they, were they, like, are the hairs on the pussy willows in the back of your house, are they long or are they kind of short? Or, or well, do you, do you they keep, would be long, but we have to keep trimming them back. Do you keep them trimmed? Yes. Uh -huh. I see. Very well manicured. They're very well manicured, the pussy willows in the back of your house. Yes. <laughs> so I can come back and get as much pussy willow from the back of your house as, as I want to? Yeah, but from what I've heard, you know, I heard you can't carry that much. I can't carry that much? Why? Because you're a wimp. <laughs> I wear orthopedic shoes and get drunk just smelling booze. I'm a wimp. My glasses are real thick, and my breath would make you sick. I'm a wimp. I've got teeth like a squirrel, and I've never made it with a girl. I'm a wimp. I'm into electronics, and I believe in regonomics. I'm a wimp. taking drugs, but I'm into collecting bugs. I'm a wimp. I've got boogers in my nose, and I'm afraid of Negroes. I'm a wimp. Melon Camp from 99 WNOR. We got some tickets to give away for John Kay and Steppenwolf in concert Friday night, along with Henry the Bull Del Toro and Jimmy Dunn and their band, Morglade. Morglade? Which is it? Morglade. Morglade. That's what I thought. And see, because we stink so bad that we don't just use one can of Glade. We need more Glade. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> 22 till 9. Bacon cooking. Mmm. No. Mr. Norville? Yeah. Who's dead? Norville! I'm at work, man. I just cut off my finger. What should I do? I just stuck my finger in the toaster and I peeled it off. What should I do? Take that finger out of your mouth, son. My, my little boy is putting the finger in his mouth. Can you? Oh, that is so cute. Always, Maggie, get a picture of this. Eraser head, my son is putting the, my finger into it. <laughs> he hung up. Dan's right, wide awake in the morning, isn't he? <laughs> this is an emergency. Huh? Look at those clouds forming. Showers and thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow. High today, 58, but up to 65 for tomorrow, but we can't enjoy it because there won't be any sunshine. Yeah, like, we could go out to the beach and get us a tan this weekend. Get us some hey, rain. yo, man, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna call, what I'm going to do is call Carol. 53 on the peninsula, 51 in Norfolk. Call the chick. I, I don't want him to think you're like... No, he hung up on a destitute person. He really cut his finger off. This little boy is really putting the finger in his mouth. Pretty funny. Come on. Get the phone. Hello? Carol? Hello? Carol? No, you must have the wrong number. Is this 464? Oh, okay, I goofed up. Sorry, babe. Can't read your writing, man. 
What'd you learn penmanship, Rieger? Don't blame me. Blame Carol. Your penmanship? Mm-hmm. I don't think... Man, she's probably not home. She's probably at work. I'm gonna just try to call Dan back. Hopefully he'll pick up the phone and realize that... If he ever wakes up again. America's legendary rock and roll bands, and you can take it or leave it. Yes. No makeup, but lots of tongue. It's Kiss up close with a larger than life stage show. Sunday, February 26th, don't miss KISS with one of the hottest new rock and roll bands out today. Except... Get your tickets now at all Ticketron locations, including Trax, Mothers, Birdland, and the Hampton Coliseum box office. KISS! Paul Stanley, Gene Simmons, Eric Carr, and Vinnie Vincent. Kiss with special guest except Sunday, February 26th, 8 p.m. at the Hampton Coliseum. Presented by Cellar Door. Hank, and, and we're, we're the Lounge Brothers. Brothers. And right now we're going to do a couple of our favorite rock and roll tunes. So uh, start the drum machine, dick. To cast away. That's right. Island lost at sea. Oh, no. Another lonely day. No one here but me. Everybody, come on, son. More loneliness any man could bear. Rescue me before I fall into despair. SOS to the world. I'll send an SOS to the world. I hope that someone gets mine. I hope that someone gets mine. I hope that someone gets mine. Message in a bottle. Oh, yeah. We'll sing it again. Message in a bottle. What's that? It's an SOS, silly. <laughs> Let's go into the next tune here. I like this beat. It's pretty funky. Well, I'm an ex-grinder, pile driver. Mama says that I never, never mind her. Got no rain. I'm insane. The teacher says that I'm one big pain. I'm like a laser, sharp as a razor. I got a mouth like an alligator. I want it louder, full power. I'm gonna rock it till it strikes the hour. Bang your head. Not too hard. Metal help will drive you mad. from 7.30 till 8.30 tonight right here. Thank you, Dick. And we'll be here with... Uh, Dick. You don't mind. I'm having we'll a good time doing this. And we'll be back tomorrow night. Listen to this lick. Brothers. Uh, oh, Dick. Dick. I practiced that lick for a long time, you know. Dick, please. I don't know how the... It's not, not how the rehearsals went, Dick. 
And that's a Rolling Stones lick. You know, I top that off the Stones, man. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Yesterday afternoon, things were slow at the uh, Hampton Roads Tunnel. And if you're coming into Norfolk, there is one train due to arrive in about uh, 20 minutes. So take the routes that you don't have to wait for the train, unless you want to wait for the train. And you can. It's coming soon. Hurry over if you want to see it. 714 from 99 WNOR. Dense fog this morning. And cloudy this afternoon, high of 59. Well, Big Red and Thor, they're the owners and operators of the Heine Winery out in Butt Station in Chesapeake, manufacturers of Heine's wine, the wine made from the best grape substitute money can buy, would like to ask you, what do you do with your Heine? Well, of course, it's your business, but if from time to time you get the feeling that your Heine just doesn't measure up, then at a party, someone else's Heine seems to have more pizzazz. Remember, it's not the Heine, it's what you put in it. Although Heine wine is the best wine you can buy for 68 cents a can, there are times when you want a little more. That's why the Heine Winery is making available to you, the public, a new pamphlet called From Artichokes to Zucchini, a list of 153 things you can put in your Heine to give it the pizzazz it may be lacking. If you're one of those people who are uncomfortable putting things in your Heine, pick up one of these new pamphlets. You'll feel better knowing everybody's doing it. And remember, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. The Heine brothers hope you plan on surprising your sweetheart with a little Heine. Giving your honey a case of dry Heine on Valentine's Day is a great way to say, I love you. A box of candy will just cause your face to break out, and flowers will die. But a case of good old dry Heine is something they'll have for weeks. And if you'd rather stop at the Heine Wine Gift Shop Annex, pick up your honey a Heine nightshirt. That's the official nightshirt that says tonight's the night for Heine. You'll find it in one place only, the Heine Wine Gift Shop Annex and the upper level of Greenbrier Mall in the Record Bar Store, making it easier than ever for you to pick up a little Heine. And let's see if you can, I'm going to stump you people with this one. You're not going to be able to get this one. No, nope, no way, no way. You're on the air. Hey, Bo. Yeah. What's the, no, what's the number for the, what's the address for the wake-up calls? Turn the radio down, you moron. Please, if you call. What's the address for the wake-up calls? I said turn your radio down. Do you think I'm kidding you? You're on the air. No, I'm not. Where in the world do you get bumper stickers around this place? Do you have a bumper sticker? Not, well, yeah, on my wall, but that don't do that good. I'll tell you what. Why don't I, you, I went all over Norfolk. Honey, you can write me here at the radio station. I'd be glad to send you about ten of them. How's that sound? You drop me a little card or letter in the, in, in the mail? And, and I'll send you one. How's that sound, honey? Oh, yeah, nice okay, have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Hi, you're on the air. Hello, is this FM 99? Yes, it is. Did you broadcast David Bowie in mono or stereo last it was in, night? It, it was in sterile. It was in stereo? We, we, we broadcast it in sterile. We didn't pick it up in stereo huh. on any of our receivers. It was only coming in on mono. Except for one. You're on the air. What? Hello. Um, can you wake up somewhere? She like. No. Whew. Got those out of the way. Yeah, it was in stereo. I don't know what was wrong with yeah, those it was, in, it was in stereo in my house. So maybe I just have this uh, special unit. Sure was in stereo in my headphones. It sounded pretty good to me. I don't know. But I guess they only have sterile. Now, do you have a broadcast in sterile? Broadcasting live in sterile. This is FM 99 WNOR. Call us. Turn your radio down, okay? Here. No, I'm not. Don't argue with me. Why the hell did you call? If you're going to give me a bunch of crud on the radio. Hello, you're on the air. Is this Rieger and the Bull? This is uh, the Bull. This is Rieger. I'd just like to say that I've seen you both on television. I think you're real cute. You think we're real cute? Oh, Do you wear glasses, hon? No. Obviously, obviously, <laughs> obviously, you need glasses. But that's nice of you to say that, and we love you for it. Hi. Have a nice day, Nair. Bye. Bye, bye. Hi. Is this the fool? Hi. Yes. Is this Del Toro? Yes. Hey. Turn your radio down, pal. All right. I'm All not right. talking to anybody who doesn't turn their radio down. Oh. Hi. Hello. Would you play a song for me? Please? What would you like to hear? Hi. You're on the air. Um, I have a poem. You have a poem? How old are you? Well, great poem. You have your radio turned down? Yes. Very good. How old are you? Um, 16. Hi, oh, you're on the air. Turn your, hey, radio, turn, turn your radio down. Hey, radio. 
Get your radio turned down? Yes. How old are you? I'm 15. Do you have your radio turned down? I sure do. How old are you? Uh, 28. I can talk to you. Oh, okay. I want to thank you. I got a button from y'all last week. Oh, you did? Yeah. Who is right. this? It looks neat. Boffo, right. Oh, you got like... another favorite to ask. Oh, you've seen our Rieger and the Bull buttons? Yeah, you sent me one last week. You like them? So anybody who writes us, I mean, automatically gets a Rieger and the Bull button because I write them back. Okay, yeah, you wrote me back. You said on the bottom, my pal for life. All right, then what do you want, then? Well, I got a question. When, when you make it, since I'm your pal for life, when you make it rich and famous and, like, move to Chicago or New York or something like that... Or Detroit. Give a call whenever I get in town and stop by, spend the night or something. If I sure, need hey. In my apartment, your apartment. All right, thanks a lot. Hey, so look, if I'm married at the time, uh -huh. my wife is your wife. Outstanding. Okay? All right. I, I share with my listeners. For sure. Because you want you, all the rest of the people who got buttons to call in, too? Because you know why? Why? Because I love the listeners. All I right. love, well, I love you guys. I think the listeners like you, too. All right, you guys take it easy. I'll even love you. You take it easy, man. I'll take it if hey. I can. <laughs> yeah, super. Hello, you're on the air. Uh, what's the address to the wake-up call? We'll tell you in a little while, Okay. <clears throat> you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna whoop by a TV trivia thing by. You're not gonna get this one. Mm -mm. WNOR. Hello. 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 May I help you? Yeah, is this the bull? Yeah, it's the bull. Well, ma'am, my old lady wants me to tell you something. Your old lady wants me to tell you something. Yeah. What? On the air. What? Go ahead. Huh? She can tell me off the air. Well, there ain't gonna be no fun. We, we on, we're on the air right now. Go we're ahead. On the air right now. Yes. Told you this. Hello, I'm starting to get a little mean here. I'm starting to get mad. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah. Can I uh, make a room? Hello? Yeah. I Turn your radio you. down. What? Turn your radio down, asshole. Turn your radio down? This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. The broadcasters of this area, in voluntary cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities, have developed this system to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. If this had been an actual emergency, the attention signal you just heard would have been followed by official information, news, or instructions. This station serves the Eastern Virginia area. This concludes this test of the emergency broadcast system. God, thank God it was only a test, and I was looking outside, I'd see the big flash, and i go, Ah! Oh! WNOR FM 99, Rocks Tidewater. I, I don't know, but in, on the strip, you know what I mean. Coming up, we're going to take some phone calls, we're going to try to find a baby, we want to see a live birth. We want to do the first play-by-play -play for a live birth in the area. That wouldn't be bad. We want to, you know, we want to be innovative, be the first to ever do that. You know? Saturday, April 7th, The Clash Rocks Hampton. Whisper Concerts presents an incredible Saturday night. The Clash. Tickets are on sale now at the Hampton Coliseum box office and all Ticketron outlets. Saturday, April 7th, at the Hampton Coliseum. The Clash is out of control. Whisper Concerts rocks the wave this Thursday night with MCA recording artist The Ravens and Channel One. Get your tickets now to see Washington, D.C.'s hottest band. Available at the regular Scope Ticket Outlets, Tracks, Mothers, The Record Bar and Tower Mall, and The Wave. Rock out with The Ravens and Channel One this Thursday night at The Wave, 15th in Atlantic, Virginia Beach, produced by Whisper Concerts. What? Tomorrow, I'm listening to your broadcast this morning about the uh, having a baby on the air. Yeah. And I think I might have a candidate for you. Who? My wife. The old lady? Yeah, my you, old lady. She's nine months pregnant. Talk to her about it? Excuse me? Did you talk to her about it yet? Yeah, she, she seems interested, but she didn't want to call you. You'd have to call her if you could. What's her name? Excuse me? What's her name? Her name is Jody. Jody what? Jody Green. Jody Green. What's your name? Jody Green. My name is Ricky Green. Oh, how appropriate. That means you're married. Yeah, we're married, all right. Oh, super. Is she there? for about three months. What's the number? 
Her number is, uh... You've been married for three months? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've been married for three months? Excuse me? You've been married for three months? Well, almost four months. Okay, and she's nine months pregnant? Yes. Okay, we'll leave it at that, pal. Okay. What's the number? The number is... Four okay, man, I'm gonna call her. Thank you. Hi, right, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Call this guy, this chick up, see if she wants to have a baby on the air. Come on, man. I hope she does it. It'd be, this would be great. A historic event. Hello? Jody. Yeah. How's the baby? Huh? This is Henry the Bulldog Tour from FM99. How are you? <laughs> All right. You're on the air right now, so I'll like, ask you a couple questions here. Yeah? You want to have your baby? What? You want, you want me to do play-by-play -play for your baby when you have it? <laughs> Live on the air in front of 100,000 people? No. It, it would be wild. Come on, Jody. It'd be pretty clean. It would be, uh, believe me, we'll talk about it beforehand. We'll tell you, you know, everything we're going to do. It has to be clean. The FCC would jam me. Yeah? I don't want, you know, they're my friends over there. I don't really want to get them mad at me. I don't want to get people mad at me. I just want this to be like a neat experience for everybody. Yeah? What do you say, Jody? Come on. Well, I can, I, I'll be in there with a wireless mic and, you know, hospital stuff on, and I'll be standing back there just saying what's happening. Yeah. Talk, okay? You have to ask my husband. He's, he, I, he's the one who told... Ricky? Yeah. Ricky just called me. Yeah. He, he said it was okay. He said it was he, up to you. He did, huh? Yeah. Come on, Jody. We'll see. <laughs> no. I need a yes or a no now. I'm not trying to... It's not like I'm putting pressure on you. I don't want all those people in my room. No, just be me. Just you, huh? I mean, come on. I, I mean, I've seen it on TV before. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be standing there staring at you. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's just part of life, you know, birth. Yeah, but it's my, my that, kid. <laughs> I know, but you know how special that kid would be with me being in there? Don't you? Come on, Jody. <laughs> Come on. As you're in there, screaming. Breathe hard, Jody. Breathe harder. Push. Push, Jody. Push. Oh, we got the baby. Where's the baby at? Where's the baby? We're looking for the baby over here. We're looking for the little baby. Okay, what do you say, Jody? Come on. Huh? You have the baby on the air? On the air. You gonna think about it? I'll think about it. Okay, I'll tell you what. You call me here at the office, okay? 623-WNOR. Okay. And let me know, okay, babe? Okay. It'll be it'll be bad, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm sure it would. All right, Jody. <laughs> okay. Bye now. Bye-bye. Oh, man. What a drag. Couldn't get a... I'm looking for a birth today. I thought I'd score today, but I guess I'm not going to. So I'm going to have to cut out of here scoreless. It's like um, I'm going to have to go home blue. You know what I mean? Chuck. Hello? Hey, Bull. Yeah. Hey, listen. Hotline. Hey, ugly. Turn your radio down. What? Turn your radio down. Oh, who's this? This is your daddy. Oh, sorry, man. Um, 99 red balloons. Hey. 99 red balloons. It's Jimmy Dunn. <laughs> What'd you think of that tune, man? We played it like 20 times yesterday. Think I'm, it's start, I'm starting to like it. <laughs> it grows on you, man. It's a catchy little tune. It's, I'm called, okay. it's called The Power of Radio. I know. 99. Hey. Da, 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 99. What? Um, what are you doing after you get off the air? Production, probably. Okay. Uh, uh, rent, you Jimmy, know, me. Is, it's pretty rude, man. Hey, rent's due today? Yeah. All right, man, I cut your check. Hold on a second. We'll talk about it off the air. Hey, man. I don't think you knew he was on the air. You're always on the air. <laughs> so you know how, now you know how Jimmy is in real life. Toro's <laughs> grandmother. And he plays Ty Borders' best rock and roll on 99 W. I love rock and roll.
que lui est ça. Let's hear it for Grandma. Jimmy Dunn and the Bull, some more glad a band, and one tune we'll be doing Friday night at the Boathouse and Cellar Door. John Kay and Steppenwolf with their opening act, Us. Me and Jimmy and more Glade. presented by Cellar Door. Right. 